Well, here's the way things stand this evening. Closer to home, we're seeing a few showers and thunderstorms out there. Not too much going on in the way of storminess across Miami Dade and Broward. For the moment, there are a few showers and thunderstorms well offshore. That activity is moving to the northwest. But I think as we go through the night here, we'll see our traditional late night and morning storms popping up, coming up through the Keys and through Miami Dade and Broward. Once again, similar to what we saw today. So storms are a good likelihood tomorrow. In fact, much of the rest of the week. If you missed it today, we had tropical depression four form at 11 a.m. Advisories were issued then, and around three o'clock we had it upgraded to tropical storm Danny. And now, after making landfall this evening near Hilton Head, yeah, we're back down to tropical depression Danny. Fourth named storm. Typically, it's uh, mid-August before we get to our fourth named storm, uh, the D letter in the season. So we're running well above that. 2012, 2016, and 2020, the last uh, three seasons where we had the D storm this early in the season. 35 mile an hour winds now. Oh, what's left of Danny is just going to be kind of a rainmaker as it moves on to the northwest here through parts of Georgia and the Carolinas. In terms of what we're looking at, also there's Danny first off right up there, but this tropical system out there. It's a tropical wave or disturbance that's crossing the Atlantic. And this area here is the next five day development potential, with the highest potential being right here in parts of the Caribbean. And you can see this kind of has a shape of coming towards us. It doesn't mean that we're going to deal with this. Too early to tell what, if any, impacts we're going to have. Certainly we'll watch it, but the conditions aren't ideal for development. In fact, most of these models here just show a weak system, basically a uh, low pressure area, maybe a depression, or maybe not even. And that just the tropical disturbance itself moving out of the northwest. This is the Saturday time frame here. Certainly we'll watch it, but we're not getting excited about it.